Hey guys. We're going to kick off the series by doing an unboxing. Yes, we are going to do that of the Tau Battle Force. So, let's begin. So we're going to start by showing you the Fire Warrior screw. We get five legs. We get a whole bunch of antennas which are all different, which is pretty cool. Backpacks. Get four of those. They're all the same, probably mass produced. We get four bodies. We get five heads, and one of them, I can show you, is unarmored and looks really cool. Like he's a badass. And so we get five shoulder pads. And that's the main body sprue. Now onto the weapon sprue. We get little grenades. Pulse carbines, one pul or a couple of pulse rifles actually. One of them doesn't have an arm attached to it. One pulse carbine doesn't have an arm attached to it. More pulse carbines, bonding knife. I can show you that. And then we have pulse rifles over here. Arms to hold the carbines or rifles, whichever ones you choose. And then we have the grenade and drone controller. And that's it for the sprue. So, on to the crute sprue. We have got some guns and arms to hold them, some straps, a meat pouch, a bunch of heads, some stomachs. We get five heads, four stomachs, some legs. More arms. This one has a knife, which is pretty cool. You can make a pretty sweet crew shaper conversion out of that. He wouldn't have his bone knife, but whatever. Then I have some legs, another arm and gun, a whole bunch of good detail. There's his bone knife right in there. More detail. You actually get another side of detail. You actually get all that detail right there and then you get more arms and such so there's a fruit sprue this one could be an elite or an HQ depending on how you want to take it and so this is the battle suit back of the Here's his like little generator thing, his anti-gravity jetpack thing, some legs, stomach, back of the thing that attaches to the stomach, the other thing, part of the burst cannon. You get um what is that? Well that's actually the back of the target lock. Okay, this isn't gonna work. I had you sit on a whole bunch of books, so now I'm gonna not do that. Alright, so Flamethrower, multi tracker, arm, head, fusion blaster, another arm, pulse rifle, or sorry, plasma rifle, shield generator, missile pod, feet, the legs, and back to the other half, the brisk can. Alright, sorry about that. I had you sit down because I didn't want to hold you, and that's not going to work. So, we are now going to take a look at the stealth suits. You get optics. This one's actually a black sun filter. You get three of these, and you get this one black sun filter. Alright, so you now have the stealth suit bodies. You get six body halves. You get fusion blaster, the three shoulder pads with the set markings, three other shoulder pads, little piece of terrain or whatever. And you get the two other optics. And the other half of the sprue. Legs, arms, antennas. You get your burst cannons, which look a lot cooler than the other ones. You get your marker drone, target lock, and a drone controller. Now, I don't like this little antenna right here. So what I have right here, conveniently blue tacked to my sprue, is an alternate piece. I took a pulse carbine, cut it down, 
and that's how it ends up. So, on to the last screw, we have a double fish. Big curvy part. You have two hatches. You have the part that divides the inventory room from the pilot place. A door that has a hatch that'll go in it. I'll show you that hatch later. And the bottom. You can see tiles in there, and then it's cut off where that goes. So, now you have the second biggest sprue, which really just has big stuff on it. We have the engine pods. We have the back hatch. The two side hatches. So that's where all the hatches will go. And now on to the last screw in the box. You get this thing, which I, which is where the pilot sits, but I kind of imagine it like you go in one way, and then it'll like spin around and take you to the other room if you press like the right buttons or whatever. That's just how I imagine it. Part of the turret, half of the burst cannon, more of the turret, seeker missile, other half of the turret, big antenna thing, seeker missile, um, a little piece that goes in the door, two benches, landing gear, the part that holds up the turret, the hatch that goes on top of the other thing, and the pallet itself. That would make a really sweet Pathfinder conversion. So, that's what you get in this sprue. And that is the last thing in the box besides spaces. You can take a look at my lovely cow, and please subscribe, comment, and rate.